Get to know the current political issues, the real stories behind the headlines. Get interactive. My Politics with Art Barry, only here on My TV Cebu. Good evening, my dear TV viewers. Welcome to our weekly program, My Politics. This is your host, Art Barrett. Our guest this evening is not a new pipe politician from our neighboring city of Cebu. He has been into politics for the past several years. He is a member of a big political plan in the city of Mandawe. And he is now the incumbent vice mayor of the city of Mandawe. A lawyer by profession. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Vice Mayor Carlo Pontico Fortuna. Good evening, Vice Mayor. <coughs> good evening, Art, and good evening to our viewers of our program, My Politics. Thank you for inviting me to be part of this uh, uh, program. And thank you very much, uh, Vice Mayor. No, nga uh, for our uh, for uh, being interviewed uh, this uh, program. Okay, Vice Mayor, do you have a lot of uh, issues now in the city of Mandawe, no? one of which, aside from uh, uh, the property that you're going to resend the contract, annul uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, what you call this, uh, the deed of sale or uh, the, yeah, sale, yeah. yeah pro, for, uh, from uh, your point of view, uh, the incumbent uh, government, the incumbent mayor of uh, Mandawe, Mayor Luigi Kasumbing, and your party, and another one, that uh, cropped up just uh, recently is another big issue. So, yes. on sa ni Vice Mayor, it will greatly affect sa uh, inyong opponent. Well, uh, actually, the, the thing that we're doing is we're just doing the right thing. No? Mm -hmm. Because, uh, first and foremost, let's say, katong uh, the lot sa city no? that was sold by the previous administration, katong 3.5 hectares. Okay. It's a wharf. <coughs> it's actually a wharf. And that wharf has been uh, being leased by the family of the Wano since the 1970s, 1980, 1990, 2010. And then uh, we just found out that in 2015, the lot was sold by mm -hmm. the previous administration, okay. by then Mayor Jonas Cortez. And, you know, surprisingly, <coughs> the lot was sold for only 50 pesos per square meter. And uh, we found out that the correct valuation of the property then was actually around 20,000 pesos per square meter. So the lot would have probably uh, fetched us a price of around 700 million pesos at the least. But based on the documents that we found, uh, it, the lot was only sold for 1.7 million pesos. Mm -hmm. For how many hectares, uh, Vice Mayor? Mm, 3.5 hectares. 3.5 hectares. <coughs> in that area? That area. Mm -hmm. So, the whole education, no? and then it's a prime lot. Okay. It has a waterfront. You know. It's in Barangay Look. And, uh But for one, <coughs> it's a wharf. Mm -hmm. So, wala pa siya ma declare as alienable and disposable. Okay. So, under the, under the documents that we, we found, there was a condition there that if that land would be sold, the, there must be a declaration from the national government, especially Congress, uh, through the DNR, that the land must be declared as alienable and disposable. Based on the certification of the DNR, it remains to be of part of the least. public domain. Okay. It remains to be a part of the public domain, mm -hmm. meaning to say it cannot be sold. Pero mm -hmm. pero nila. And then, second, pag baligya pa nila, wala pa public building. So, there was, there was no public building at all. And under the, under the rules of the Commission on Audit, and government regulations, if you sell a government property, it has to be public building so that it can fetch the, a better price. Okay. So, uh, because of that, <coughs> uh, the Ombudsman is now conducting an investigation on the sale of that lot. The investigation is uh, centered on uh, then Mayor Jonas Cortez. And in fact, the offices of the mayor and my office was required, was subpoenaed by the Ombudsman to release all the documents related to the transaction. Okay. And then part of that also is that uh, knowing very well that the 
that the city no was shortchanged no na cancel yun ang city na to the based on the opinion of the uh, city legal we were it was recommended that the city must reacquire the property mm -hmm. no repossess the property so that uh, it can we can ma makuha to balik ma makuha balik makuha okay. balik okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Vice Mayor Carlo, uh, you have been in the city council, you have been in a public official of uh, the city of Mandawi, starting as a councillor. Yes, Were yes. you not part of uh, the discussion or uh, the deliberation <coughs> at that time when this property was uh, taken Sold, into consideration? No. I wasn't uh, because I was out of office then. I, I was in private practice now. Mm -hmm. I ended my term in 2010. Okay. And then I only came back in 2016. This this sale was made in 2015. Okay, 2015. So, 2015. Okay. Yes. That was that that was the first term of uh, Vice uh, of Mayor Cortez or second that's, term? So that's last term. Oh, the last term. Last term. Okay. 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 Last Mayor term. Cortez. No? Okay. So, um, you know, in fact, I I when I received the subpoena, the subpoena was sent to us last year. Oh, no, 2017. To send to us 2017 by the ombudsman, I immediately called the councillors who were present then at the mm -hmm. time. Uh, you know, you know, you know, because mm -hmm. um, I asked if there was an appraisal committee report. Okay. Because I think it's basic. If you want to sell something, there mm -hmm. must be an appraisal report to find out what is the correct valuation of the property before you sell it. Okay. There was none. The transaction was finished in less than a month. Mm -hmm. Pas pas kayo yung transaction. And so, uh, well, and then it, we found out even that they paid before they signed the contract. Mm -hmm. So, so, so you, you, you filed a case against the previous administration to the ombudsman and to the regular court? No, actually, we didn't file a case against the, the previous mayor. There was, there was some citizens who filed a case mm -hmm. uh, before, against the mayor before the ombudsman. What the city of Mandawi did was to file a case to annul the sale. I see. To annul the sale between the city of Mandawi and... Uh, Ecodem Corp, no? mm -hmm. the Ernesto C. Uh, Development Management Corporation. Because okay. it's a uh, mga company na karoon nga nakapalit sa, nanipalit sa mga okay. yuta. Okay. So, ang atong gigifayal nga case is to, to annul the sale and eventually to recover back the property. Okay, but uh, the other party alleged that uh, it's above board, uh, the the uh, the uh, disposition of uh, that property. Well, uh, like I said, if it's above board, then why did they not undergo a public bidding. Mm -hmm. Nga nang wala mang public bidding, nga nang sila-sila rin nagsabot. Second, nga nang wala may appraisal report. Mm -hmm. And ikatulo siguro, I mean, asa may yutas mga dawit, isang yung pesos. All these things were absent or are absent in uh, the documents that you submitted to... All of these things, yeah. yeah. You, there was no appraisal report. Mm -hmm. There was no public bidding. And, uh, and like I said, uh, even any valuations in all the properties in Mandawi, misig sa Kasili, Kubago, itong hilila na to, you cannot okay. find a property that costs only 50 mm -hmm. pesos. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, ang, there was a reply by uh, Mayor Court, then Congressman, no, Congressman Jonas, um, part of the consideration sa donation of a road lot. <coughs> but the donation is different from a sale. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, what, what again was surprising was that the evaluation, the donation of donated lot is very high, taas kayo yung valuation mm. compared to the lot that was being sold. Mm -hmm. So, dapat pareho. Da. Okay, yes, exactly. Uh, yes. Let's say, mm -hmm. if you're selling, um, donate ko, akong, mm -hmm. akong, let's say, akong i-value sa akong land is 10,000 worth. Ang akong i-donate ng land, ng 10,000 pesos per square meter, then why is it that ang akong, akong i-palit Ang, ang ibaligyan sa cost, 50 pesos na. Exactly. So, ang, 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 ang commission on audit on, on this uh, part, uh, Vice Mayor Carlo, nakapagawa sa sila ang findings or adverse findings relative to the disposition of the property? So far, uh, we have not yet received the report, but there was a special audit team from Central Office who, mm -hmm. who went to see the, the property. They conducted an investigation, inspection actually, a uh, special audit team. They went also to my office and okay. then they required me to submit all the documents again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. related to the transaction. Okay. Now, on the part of uh, the case filed by a citizen, on the status? The case filed... Uh, filed by... Uh, let's say, against... Uh, against... Uh, former yeah, Mayor yeah. Uh, Jonas Cortez. Yeah. The, well, aside from Mayor Jonas, I think the Vice Mayor and then the... All the city council. Oh, everyone there who okay. approved were uh, 
are the subject of mm -hmm. the case. No, the case is ongoing right now, and I, uh, I think the case, the um, case on the file was both criminal and administrative. Oh, I see. I see. So probably we can expect any subpoena soon, mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. soon addressed to the respondents. Okay. Now the property is still owned by the government. It's still uh, with the. Uh, Department of Environment and Natural Resources. No, uh, it's part of the public domain. <coughs> the land, uh, I think our charter in Mandawa City says that all for sure lands mm. in the entire city belongs to the city. Okay. All right. But not all for sure lands can is declared part alienable and disposable. Okay. Yes. So it is only Congress who can declare that. Mm -hmm. Although, let's say, I own the land, okay, but I have limited use of it because I cannot sell it and dispose it because Congress has not yet declared that my land is alienable and disposable. Mm. It remains a part of the public domain. So there are limited uses. Part mm -hmm. of that is the, the for sure lease of the property. The city owns it, but up, un unless and until the Congress declares that, yes, you can sell it, then we, we are prohibited from selling the property. Okay. Now, uh, in the case of this particular property, uh, leased by Eden Corps, no? For the past several years, they did not apply for a miscellaneous sales application and then uh, have it titled with DNR. Since no. they have been there for the past several years, there, there was they, they introduced a lot of improvements. There, there was none. Mm -hmm. There was none. Actually, the improvements that you actually see is just a port, just a wharf, mm -hmm. no, not, mm -hmm. nothing more, nothing less. And then it's being leased by other corporations also. Okay. Okay. So, um, uh, for all intents and purposes, the property remains to be owned by the city mm -hmm. until such time, uh, until that time in 2015 when it was sold. No? So there was no title at all. And uh, in fact, the only document that you can actually find there is a tax declaration. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. Now, I, I, being a lawyer, uh, Vice Mayor Carlo, if uh, this case will be filed in court, what particular, uh, uh, particular case that we filed uh, against the previous administration? And this involves a, a big amount of money. Well, you know. Of fun, no, it's plunder. It's plunder. Oh, because uh, the the minimum amount for plunder is 50 million pesos, mm. diba? And then easily you look at the amount that was lost no, no, sa Mandawe, na, the, the income that you say we could have actually received mm -hmm. would mm -hmm. probably be around 700 million pesos. Mm -hmm. Even if they have a lower valuation, mm -hmm. it still goes into 100 million pesos that would. Uh, lost mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. as a city. So, mm -hmm. uh, it could be plunder, it could be um, uh, entering into a grossly disadvantageous contract with the city. So, it falls under under graft and corrupt practices. Okay, all this, uh, all those councillors involved, uh, those who were uh, sitting as councillors at that time, they were aware already, of course, no? They were already given a summon or subpoena by uh, the ombudsman or whatever in the course of the... I'm yeah. not sure if they have, but uh, by by now with the uh, with how the ombudsman works, no. In my experience, uh, in cases involving the ombudsman, once the case is docketed, and then he has a docketed for administrative uh, investigation and criminal investigation, the next thing that you will receive there is summons. Mm -hmm. So it will involve everyone. In fact, three of the councillors then who were part of the the council who approved it executed a. A, an affidavit uh, attesting to what really happened mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. express surprise that mm -hmm. the the transaction was really disadvantaged to the city. They were made to believe that uh, everything was uh, above board, but okay. as it turned out, uh, it's really disadvantageous. So to the they city. are no longer now sitting as councillors. Uh, no, uh, two of them are one is no longer a councillor. I see. So, but they they uh, executed an affidavit supporting the complaint that was filed by private citizens against uh, Mayor Jonas Cortez and the rest of the, the Vice Mayor and some of the councillors. I see. Okay, Vice Mayor uh, Carlo, we still have a lot of issues to discuss uh, this evening for our uh, televiewers and for our uh, uh, televiewers who don't go away.
to know the current political issues, the real stories behind the headlines. Get interactive. My Politics with Art Bari, only here on My TV Cebu. Welcome once again. This is our program, My Politics. This is your host, Art Barit. Our guest this evening is our incumbent Vice Mayor of the City of Mandawi, Vice Mayor Carlo Puntico Fortuna. And uh, you can watch us on Sky Cable Channel 30 and also at livestream.com slash mytv30 slash on air. And we've been discussing about issues that affect the city of uh, Mandawi. No? Ngayon ta, for the past several days, nagawas ni sa mga mantalaan and uh, of course in the local uh, uh, radio uh, grabe yun no uh, graft and corruption committed allegedly by uh, the previous administration and the incumbent uh, administration now is uh, trying no as much as possible to recover uh, city owned uh, properties now another issue ng digawas karon is uh, regarding i, i uh, prime property also uh, which is located again in a uh, big uh, property in uh, the North Reclamation uh, area or within the vicinity. Unya, uh, now it's uh, presently occupied by uh, Big Hotel and uh, now they're also uh, claiming uh, that the issue is above board and uh, likewise uh, the previous administration is also claiming uh, if the present administration will do this, a lot of investors will shy away, will go out of uh, Mandawi. Okay, uh, Vice Mayor Carlo, it's your time to defend earning uh, issue, uh, Carlo. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for raising, raising that up, uh, you know, so that everybody can understand mm. the history. <clears throat> Mandawi City in 2007 uh, entered into a lease contract with Katumanan Hardware. Okay. Ang iyang is just hardware. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can, can you inform our uh, televiewers where is that particular area, okay. Vice Mayor Carlo? Okay, kanang, kanang uh, Katumanan Hardware, mo na siyang likod sa Park Mall. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. nine, nine, nine Times Square na niya, mm -hmm. na ng big hotel, no? Mm -hmm. Actually, mm -hmm. kanang before na no, before na big hotel, makita na mo, if you look from the street, the, the entire hotel is actually a warehouse. Okay. Okay, it, it's part of a warehouse. Okay. And in fact, the hotel, diha, is just only about... One fourth lang sa property. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Believe you not, the the book the book lot, no. Because mm -hmm. the lot there is about 1.4 hectares na siya. Mm -hmm. Pero ang gigamit siguro ana is about one fourth lang jud sa mm -hmm. property. Mm -hmm. Now, in 2007, ang ang ang, ang gusto jud ni abang ang nagayuta is Katumanan Hardware Incorporated. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, Katumanan Hardware, uh, the lease contract was from 2007 to 2022. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But five years after, five years after the five years after the contract, during the time of Mayor Jonas Cortez, mm -hmm. they renegotiated the uh, they renegotiated the uh, the lease contract. Okay. No? In 2012, now pag negotiate na sa lease contract, gi extend by 25 years. Mm -hmm. All right. For the same price, oh, I see. which is 12 pesos per square meter. With approval of the city council again. With, with the approval of the okay. city council, no? Mm -hmm. No. So, of course, if you're the landlord and then the Katumanan is that tenant, you expect that Katumanan will be leasing it for the next 25, 25 years, years. Right? Mm -hmm. But in 2013, a, f a few months after when the lease was extended, Katumanan all of a sudden sold his rights to Senore Corporation. Okay, uh, Vice Mayor Carlo, before... Uh, the uh, extension or renewal or uh, giving for another uh, years of uh, lease uh, by the city government to Katumanan. Wala ta escalation clause? The same price yung yapo yung... 10% lang. Just proceed to lang. Which, okay. is, which, which is... Which could have been taas-taas yun on ta. Yeah, pwede yun ta. Mm. Okay, it's karun kung tanawang biyan ni Modiha, it's prime land. You mm. know, SRP gani is, is leasing at 3,000... A uh, minimum of 3,000 pesos per square meter to mm -hmm. 5,000, diba karon. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's just 2019, four years ago, probably around 1,000 or 
2,000 yeah. pesos, di ba? Mm -hmm. So, kanang, kung foresight na to, if you had foresight in negotiating with, the, with your property, you would have anticipated that the price of the land by that time would have really gone up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, still, pag renegotiate nila ni Mayor Jonas with Katamanan Hardware, they re just renegotiated the period. Mm -hmm. So, we put on lang 25 years. Okay. So, ikaw, if you're the city and you're the tenant, you expect the tenant to continue using it for 25 years. Mm -hmm. But, uh, like I said, no, 2012 to, a few months after, pag 2013, ihawa si Katumanan, mm -hmm. iyang ibalig, iyang katungod, nga doon sa Senori Corporation, okay. for 25 million pesos. Mm -hmm. So, the whole 1.4? The whole 1.4. Okay. It doesn't, dili siya tag-iasuta, mm -hmm. ang iya lang katungod lang mm -hmm. sa pagabang. So, true bit of assignment? So, well, did of assignment. Okay. No, true, did of assignment. Mm -hmm. For 25 million pesos. That, mm -hmm. that means to say, that land is really very valuable. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, more or less, pilay lakang siya sa city of Bandao <laughs> on that part. <laughs> Wait, Mayor. Di na tamo speculate. Dako, dako. Okay, man din. Five years, lang kuan good. Six years lang siya into the contract. Mm -hmm. Six years into the contract. Mm -hmm. From 2007 to 2012. 2013, six years in the contract. 25 million na yun. 25 million. Okay. Yeah. Mandawi City, pala yung nakuha ito, wapag ito million siguro. <laughs> Di ba? Oh, yeah, yes. Uh, so, I mean, mm. that, I mean, that, that, uh, you see the discrepancy ba? So, anyway, um, so, when it was assigned, when Senori, when Katumanan Hardware sold its rights to Senori Corporation to a DDO assignment, it executed a contract mm. just between the two of them. Okay. Turns out they uh, they made another DDO assignment. This time involving Mayor Jonas Cortez. Mm -hmm. uh, Mayor Jonas Cortez then was asked to sign a conformity. Mm -hmm. Now, when he signed the conformity, he did not have the authority from the city council. Okay. And then he was still the mayor. Huh? So from 2013 up to 2016, there was no movement at all. There was the mayor dead did not submit the memorandum agreement katong assignment to the city council for him to ratify to make sure that you know can I, I i i can do i did i can do what i did mm. <clears throat> and then uh, but they knew from the very beginning mayor jonas cortez knew and then uh, senore corporation knew that the signing of mayor jonas cortez needs to have a council authority mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that was in 2013 that is why the Commission on Audit, based on the report this, that was just released uh, uh, last week, mm -hmm. the report was released last week, ingon ng Commission on Audit na first, Katumanan Hardware violated the lease contract. Okay. Okay. The for subletting or for giving a deed of assignment uh, to yeah. other, uh, yeah, to other yeah, party. To other party. Yeah, aside from that, from, from not paying the right amount of rent. Okay. Diba? So it was well, the contract. And second is that, there was there is no uh, there was no uh, authority mm -hmm. no there was no authority of the mayor to assign that contract to uh, uh, to allow mm -hmm. to, to approve okay. sorry to approve the assignment of Katomanan to Senori Corporation the mayor did not have the authority mm -hmm. to do that so taro mm -hmm. ang findings sa commission audit okay on this regard uh, vice mayor carlo <coughs> did the city exert effort after knowing that uh, the previous administration or during the uh, time of uh, uh, Mayor Cortes uh, made this uh, mga arrangement. Yes. Was there any <coughs> movement or was there any uh, kining uh, activity or... There was, uh, there was, there was. Okay. In fact, <coughs> when, I, when I assumed office in 2016, there were several people, uh, there were a number of people who were trying to talk to me, mm -hmm. <coughs> trying to talk to the mayor or his representatives, asking that you ratify lang na ang katong mowa ni mm -hmm. <coughs> mowa ni Kuan, mowa ni Ipermaha ni Mayor Jonas together with Katumana ng Senore. My position is that why would we fix that kind of problem? I mean, if, if Katumana does not want to lease our property, then we terminate the lease contract with mm. Katumanan mm -hmm. and make another lease contract with the one who's going to rent the property. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. it's basically common sense, di ba? Ikay tagya si Uta, niyan nag-abang, di naganahan. Di ato, porto ng kontrata na to. Maghihim mo ko bagong kontrata, ato sa kanang abang. Because on the legal point of view, if I'm a lawyer, 
that's not going to be very advantageous to the owner of the land. Okay, if I want to eject the one that's occupying it, I will have to sue mm -hmm. the one who uh, signed the contract. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and uh, truth to be told, in the commission of audit, nga, kinahalan, do not do contract uh, Mandawi, ang Sinori with Mandawi City, mm -hmm. which up to today, there is no contract. Wa, wa, wa na siya. Wa mm -hmm. siya. So, mo na, bitaw nga, kanang Sinori's hold on the property is is really uncertain mm. because what man say contract of lease with Mandawi City mm. ang iyang gi ang iyang gi iyang gi kuptan katong memorandum Katutuman agreement mm -hmm. with uh, katong as deed of assignment mm -hmm. but mayor luigi gusumbing rescinded the contract with katumanan okay girisin naman yan mm -hmm. contract for mm -hmm. violations eh? so girisin niya yes yes uh -huh. so if the contract with katumanan hardware and Mandawi City is really rescinded that is that deed of assignment is moot and academic, moot and academic. because okay. the deed of assignment was based on the lease mm. contract. So, so what you are going to do now is maghimo mo ubag ang kontrata with, with Mandawi City and Sinori mm. Corporation. Mm. Corporation. That is what what you have been telling them from the very beginning. Mm. Maghimo tag bag ang kontrata. Mm -hmm. what, was this, what is the response of they, uh, this they new corporation? They, they wanted to insist on that deed of assignment. But it was already rescinded. Yeah, Ang exactly. Katong, uh, before, <coughs> exactly. Exactly. So, that's 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 the issue now, mm. because we we are not saying we want to close you. We the mayor. The, we never we never had that kind of intention at all. Ang ato lang is that to protect the interests of the city. It is important that mm. there is a clear contract between the one that's really occupying the property now, which is the Nori Corporation. Now, iya pag ni Travel B. In Mandawa City. Vice Mayor Carlo, how much is the rental between uh, Katumanan and Sinori? Uh, you are supposed to the uh, city of Mandawi would have <coughs> to exert more efforts nga, or efforts nga uh, madako yun unta, mabaguhan o niya sakto ang iyahang kwintada. De, actually, ang uh, kanang Katumanan ni Sinori, huwag mo siya muabang. Ang Katumanan to Sinori Corporation. It's a deed of assignment. The assignment. Okay. Ibalik yaman. 25 billion. Uh, for 1.4 25 hectares. million in okay. 6 years time 25 billion siya ko imo compute on ang abang sa nila oh. dugay pa taka abot ng 25 million mahuman pa tutong termino mo taka abot but in 6 years time ang nagabang sa yuta ay ba i mean di lang ta mahisgot mandawi ba ta kia mm. ikita kia si yuta ako igabang mm. sa imong yuta mm. di ba niya ang ako abang nimo do 12 pesos na metro kwadrado mm. okay after 6 years ako gibiligay ya in mm. Nakaginans ako, 25 million na bawi mm. akong iabang sa muha mm. niya, naka, naka kwarta pa dito ko. Mm. If you were the owner of the land, malipay ka na. Mm. Yeah, gawas na na, ganado ka nga, ikay tagi asuta, ka nang bagong ni, ni, ni kuha, ni, ni, ni gami sa yuta, mm. ganado ka, nado kay kontrata doon, kaya para mm. protektahan po ka. Well, is that a case of political harassment <coughs> on this particular issue, uh, Vice Mayor Carlo? No? Okay, what Mandawi, the, the, the present administration, is doing is really to uh, acquire and uh, uh, to have a right uh, precious sa uh, inyohang uh, property. Exactly, because uh, it, how can it be political when it, we're talking about the property of the city that's mm -hmm. being used for business? Eh, kanang yuta na abang mo niya, negosyo ba niya? Kung buto na on the land that's being used, huwag mo niya, di mo na, servisyo. Gigamit na siya pag abangan para economic enterprise mo siya. But the other party cries for political harassment. Gigukod yun o maayo. Mabit na nga, mabit na ng katawanan, no? Kanina, I just want to share this ba? Pag-session na mo last week, nag-session mo last week, Seven councillors of allied with John, Mayor Jonas Cort, then then Congressman, a uh, Congressman Jonas Cortes, pushed for the ratification. ratification. Okay. And then, despite the fact that the commission or the CEO, the violate ng katumanan, mm. nene adverse uh, findings, ad adverse mm. ng findings mm. niya, na na po legal opinion. So nung mm. tanda ko, kinsa yun yung gay abogadohan de <laughs> ang mandawi o kaniyang kompanya, kinsa yun yung protektahan de ay, ang kinsa mga interes yung protektahan niyo. <laughs> Muro magkawin ng mugados na kabang, imbis ka itag-itag iya, di ba? That's very funny. So, uh, it only goes to show that they're, make, they're the ones who's making it political. Kaya kung, 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 kung ang negosyasyon ni siya, uh. anong appeal-appeal mo mo nga? In the first place, nag-negosyate tas, nag-kupot sa yuta ka ron. We just want eh, to have a lease contract. Why are you insisting on that previous nga agreement na defective yung case niya? Na kani, at least, protektado ang mandawi 
protektado po ang angka ng nagkupot karon ng sa yuta dia karon nga nag nagamit sa yuta uh, okay vice mayor <coughs> carlo we still have a lot of uh, issues to discuss and uh, after our reminders we'll be discussing uh, uh, on issue uh, on, uh, business uh, climate in uh, the city of bandawi to our televiewers don't go away Get to know the current political issues, the real stories behind the headlines. Get interactive. My Politics with Art Bari, only here on My TV Cebu. Welcome once again, our dear televiewers, for our program, My Politics. This is your host, Art Barit. And you can watch us on uh, Sky Cable Channel 30 and also at livestream.com slash mytv30 slash on air. Our guest for this evening is our incumbent may vice mayor of the city of uh, Mandawi, Vice Mayor Carlo Puntico Portuna. Vice Mayor Portuna, usa sa ilahang uh, gipagawas no? uh, to uh, the media if these uh, things will go on uh, making political or a lot of issues against the uh, uh, businesses in Mendawi ang ilahang ingon nga ug magpadayon ni daghan ang mga negosyante nga manggawa sa uh, siyudad sa Mendawi uh, what's your reaction on this uh, vice mayor carlo uh, that's fake news <laughs> <laughs> that's fake news you know ever since we assume office in 2016 mm. we have seen the uh, very fast growth of mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. businesses in Mandawi City. Kani, kani siya is a, it's just a, it's a simple issue of trying to correct things mm -hmm. and to try to make things right and try to ensure that the interest of the city is protected. Our the tendency among of our opponents, kani among katba, is always to create fear mm -hmm. no, among mm -hmm. our people so that they can hide the truth. I see. Di ba? <laughs> so, mga padlokal mga tao, but actually, so that the people cannot uh, know mm -hmm. the real story behind uh, the, the the situation right and now. And this is part of your campaign, uh, uh, <coughs> Vice Mayor Carlo, explaining to the people, uh, yes, to the regions yes, of Mandawi, kung sa'y tinuoray ng hitabo, kung sa'y tinuoray ng sitwasyon, kung inyohan yung gusto ng gipangkuha, paningil nga to sa mga previous, or whatever or what, uh, whatever previous transactions made, uh, sa previous administration nga og mahimo unta ni dako pagpundo nga ma, makuha og uh, mahipo sa uh, gobyerno sa Mandawi that's that's very correct that's very correct you know ngatong kampanya gud karon na platform gud nato sa ato administration with mayor Luigi and myself and the team is anti corruption mm -hmm. no anti corruption mm -hmm. and we have seen some transactions before that have that have all the elements of a of a corrupt act ba no kanalang under sales of property, selling our property, kana tong wharf na to 50 pesos, and this one like underselling the underselling the value that mm -hmm. the city would have actually received. These things need a thorough review, and uh, if so necessary for us to correct it, then we will do that. Okay? We took an oath, right? We took an oath uh, before the people of uh, Mandawi that we will always uphold and mm. protect its interests. Correct. And mm -hmm. to make sure that uh, we will not be shortchanged. Mm -hmm. So, one at Tongi Karon. So, regardless of what they're trying to paint, that's <coughs> what they're doing. They're trying to paint everything uh, doom. And it, but you can see business is. Uh, Mandawi is, is still strong. a business friendly. Really? City. Yeah. In fact, right now, uh, we, for the first time, no, for the first time, the city of Mandawi was awarded as the most business-friendly city mm -hmm. by the Philippine Chamber of Commerce I see. in our category. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. uh, our ranking before is in Mandawi was of all the cities in the entire Philippines and the competitiveness index was 73. Mm -hmm. But in less than two years uh, in our administration, our ranking went up from 73 to number 13. Mm -hmm. So, grabe oh, pagsaka. Mm -hmm. Because I guess it's the confidence of business, the confidence mm -hmm. of investors who feel that 
the, the best thing right now in Metro Cebu is actually Mandawa City. Okay, uh, Vice Mayor Carlo, I read in the local papers and uh, some uh, uh, magazine, or not magazine, but uh, social media uh, regarding your uh, competitiveness uh, uh, index. Uh, index or program. And this was initiated by, I think, uh, an NGO or something like that. Uh, I see. Ang inyohang, ang inyohang uh, performance as a... Uh, uh, sa inyong pag-gobyerno, grabe san ang pag-usab, no? yes. especially sa mindset and uh, the attitude of the workers or employees in City Hall. Yes. What's this all about? It's the performance government system uh, by the Institute of Solidarity of Asia. The system actually uh, ensures accountability. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Accountability and participation of every member of the organization, of every member of the city, whether you're a traffic aid, whether you're a uh, clean and green personnel okay. or your messenger mm -hmm. it, it ensures that <coughs> by performing that role you're contributing to uh, the bigger plan I see. the bigger objective mm -hmm. so it makes everybody feel important mm -hmm. it makes everybody every member every employee of the government directly or indirectly feel an obligation to ensure to com to ensure compliance achievement of its tasks because the collective uh, accomplishment of everyone results to a higher performing uh, government. I see. Uh, which is, as you see right now, no? When is the program start? When, when was <clears throat> it started? It started during the time of uh, Mayor jo then Mayor Jonas Cortez, and then we continued it. I see. Because our, our theme then, when we won, when we became, uh, when we elect got elected as mayor, and then I'm, me as vice mayor, our theme is to level up. Mm -hmm. So in other words, we need to level up our performance of the city. I see, I see. And uh, I am proud to say, you know, to our efforts, you were able to do that. In and fact, you were one of the cities chosen by this <coughs> organization in the whole of, uh, in the whole of, uh, in the whole country. In the whole country, mm -hmm. one of the very few. Mm -hmm. uh, then, it's it's mindset, no good, no. It's uh, it's your attitude, it's your behavior, it's your mindset that that the system intends to uh, inten intends to change. In fact, city council, no, without, without the city council, for the first time. After a long, long time, the first time, the Department of Interior and Local Government awarded and chose uh, the City Council of Mandawa City as the highest performing, uh, most outstanding City Council for the entire Central Visayas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, last year in 2018, the first award ever received by the City Council. So it's it's a, it's a it's a it's a it's a proud moment and it's it, it's very motivating because once once you. Once you see an attitude change, once mm -hmm. you see a behavioral change, uh, the level of standards uh, goes up. And if it goes up, at least the people, our constituents, who are clients, we call them customers, will also have a higher level of satisfaction towards their government and okay, towards uh, their leaders. Vice Mayor Carlo, being the presiding officer of uh, the City Council, how many are allied with uh, the present administration and uh, with the group of uh, former uh, mayor? Uh, Jonas there, there are seven of them, opposition, five okay. with administration. Okay. And do you find it hard to uh, uh, win uh, well, that, uh, uh, passing and uh, introducing uh, resolution or ordinance? There, there, I really don't find it hard. I don't find it hard. It's a skill to preside, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. being a presiding officer uh, and being requires... Being a lawyer at that. Being uh, a lawyer at that requires certain skill mm -hmm. and uh, knowledge, you know. So, through the years, it's my... Experience as the city council, city councillor, and a former vice mayor, and then he also became the national president of all the councillors in the entire country. Uh, my years of experience have trained me for situations like that. When you have a divisive, uh, well, you have a council that's not uh, that doesn't come from the entire team or mm -hmm. from one team. Sorry, so uh, it's not about just having the numbers. It's always implementing the rule of law, okay. implementing the rules. Mm -hmm. you know? Because it's not all the time just because you have the numbers you win. Mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, you, you can't just, it's unlike before that might is right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right now, no. <laughs> you know, so, <laughs> you know, Karun, it's the law is right. No? No, uh, okay, uh, Vice Mayor Carlo, uh, likewise uh, with the distribution of the number of barangay captains, no? so to speak, no? you have only that much and uh, the ah, group yes, of yes, uh, yes. former Mayor uh, Jonas Cortez has uh, one more. <laughs> Uh, barangay captain compared to your uh, correct, incumbent correct. barangay captain. Yes, politically, yes, they have the numbers, 
But when you look at the total voting population mm -hmm. of these barangays, we're, we're, we're happy to say that we have the edge mm -hmm. because it's not about the number of uh, village chiefs that you have. You mean to say the big barangay it is, it is, is with it your is, group? Yeah, oh. it is the voting population that uh. the barangays represent. Because at the end of the day, it's about figures, it's mm -hmm. about yeah, numbers. Exactly, yes. about. And then uh, right now, our campaign also it's not really entirely dependent on the village shifts. Mm -hmm. It goes down to the city level, to mm -hmm. the poor level, and really engaging the people. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know, sa unang mga kampanya ka, it's just, you know, you introduce who you are, mm -hmm. what you offer. Mm -hmm. But right now, we are introducing our platform, mm -hmm. and we say we are against corruption, and this is what we're doing. We say that we are fighting against uh, drugs, and this, and this is what we got. Mm -hmm. You know, the Mandawa City was the only city in Central Visayas awarded by the Department of Interior Local Government last December as the highest performing anti-drug abuse council uh -huh. in the entire, entire Philippines. Diba? So mm -hmm. we, we, we say this as our platform and we show to them this is the results. It's very encouraging indeed. You know, yes. What's your assessment during your barangay visit, uh, barangay or city visit during your... This is very uh, the, the campaign has not yet started, but your, during your visitation. Pos the response is quite positive uh, because um, we have a program that's intended to help people in need, no? Can I be talking hospital ka, mamatay ka, no matyan ka, or kanang, uh, you need money for tuition, or for medicines, or you need uh, kanang dialysis, uh, certain things, no? Mm -hmm, for mm -hmm. the first time, uh, this administration, the Mayor Logic is being conceived of a program. Mm -hmm. We mirror now to ang PS PCSO. Mm -hmm. We also mirror DSWD. I see. Diba? Because when you go to PCSO, if you have monetary problems diba? for hospitalization mm -hmm. mm -hmm. before the go ado kay man dawat kayo sa mandaw now we mirrored it we put up an amount of 35 million pesos mm -hmm. and we give financial assistance to the people so total on na siya mga as of as of today mm -hmm. there about 12,000 already have availed of the program mga mm -hmm. to sa sa mm -hmm. and of course the beneficiaries are all mandawihanon all mandawihanon mm -hmm. so man the response has been very good kay Ang kasagaran dun sa mata, most or well, all of them who receive it said is, karun pa sila kasaway na kadawat, huwag hinabang, gikan dun sa gobyerno sa Mandawi. Because most of the time, nga rili kayo pasas national government. Mm -hmm. So, when we when we won, Mayor Luigi and I, when we won, we said we need to find a program na that will address to the personal needs of the people. Okay? Mm -hmm. We keep on saying, Mandawi City is very rich. Yet, when your people are in need, you cannot even give something mm -hmm. to, to support them or to help them. So the health program was initiated. Nang kinabang, sabi siya pa na tabang na program ba? And that's why the response have always been very, very positive from the people. Okay, Vice Mayor Carlo, there are a lot of informal settlers in in the city, no? Particularly one of the recent issues now, ang kini mga informal settlers at the back of the big hotel, and then they were informed and they were. Yeah, uh, the Sinori informed uh, those uh, mm, informal settlers to vacate. Yeah. But uh, the position of the city, no, you cannot uh, just vacate the property because they, they don't own the land. Okay, exactly. Uh, the city government owns it. Oh, well, like, exactly. So, so it's, we were saying, well, <laughs> you know, they, they're po the, our opponents are mm. pushing for this. Mm. Yet they, what lagi nila panumbling ang katong mga pamilya ng mga piktuhan. You have to think that the hotel is just only using one fourth of the property. Because the entire is 1.4, ang makita ni Musa ito, atubangan na siya ang igamit nila. The liquid, this is warehouse. And then, if there is somebody who should really eject them, it should be the city because we own the land. Yeah, you own the land. Diba? And then, apparently, ang atong mong katbang, they don't mind those 200 families who will be removed. They ipasagdan nila ang kaso. Na-relevo dun sa, nalipay sila that the city... Yeah, Mayor Luigi and mm. I are standing up for them. Mm -hmm. Okay, Vice Mayor uh, Carlo, last question. Uh, Mandawi City is a wash of uh, money. Because, uh, bag ko lang muna ka kuha sa uh, CICC. Yeah. No? Or another uh, tranche of uh, money, no? And then, uh, what particular livelihood programs na introduce niyo sa mga uh, katawahan, uh, especially to the Mandawi Hanon? Actually, the, the program that we had, uh, first is, we, we focus first on building their skills, mm -hmm. diba? And then same time, we're also supporting the co cooperative, uh, uh, sorry, the co cooperative uh, 
uh, cooperatives in the in the city mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because for those who want to have to be self-employed mona you need you need cash assistance you need financial assistance we can provide for that but the important thing is you need to train entrepreneurs as well mm -hmm. so that's why we have a we have a department that does that to train our people who want to avail the program to be entrepreneurs and then we provide the uh, seed funding for for those programs through the cooperatives mm -hmm. okay uh, vice mayor uh, carlo we still have uh, uh, questions and queries uh, for this uh, program but our time is up our parting statement to our uh, tele viewers this evening well uh, art thank you very much it's been a very interesting uh, discussion i wish we had more time but uh, to all the viewers thank you so much and please keep on watching my politics for very interesting news and especially that of Mandawa City. We assure you that uh, while we are here with uh, Mayor Luigi Kusumbing and I and the administration, we will continue to always uphold, protect, and uh, take care of the people of Mandawe. Oh boy. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Mayor Carlo Portuna, for our guest uh, this evening. And to our viewers, thank you very much for watching. And this is your, ho your host, Art Barit Manamilip Nilang Umuingon, na samtang muhingos pang ilong sa tao. Iyang mga pangandoy o tingos bawan, huwag katapusan. Dagang salamat, good evening.